looking at working on an experiment and these are some different square painted papers that I made, I think as a larger piece and then I had cut them apart into squares. So what I like about that is by cutting something that you've drawn all the way across, you get some really interesting lines that go right off the edge without any break or hesitation. Um, each one of these is very unique, very different, but yet has similar qualities. So I think for this experiment, they'll work together as just a series of four. I don't like to work on just one piece at a time. I like to work on at least four, maybe at the minimum three, but just so that I can keep things fresh, keep things moving, and also so that um, I don't get too invested in just one. These middle two are probably my favorite of the four. The colors are really intense. I love the strong black line. I definitely had sprayed it with some water. This is probably a thick Posca pen. And then um, I probably sprayed it with some water where this looks like it's maybe a crayon. Um, here, you really can't see much of the black line at all. And I have a feeling it was some ink um, and here I've made some marks maybe with uh, paint, but this hardly has any strong black at all and either does this one. So that's something that if I'm going to tie these all together, at some point I'm going to have to introduce that to my other pieces. Um, overall, the colors, eh, this one, I tend to like the color a little bit more. I'm thinking this is an Elizarian Crimson. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about that entirely. Here, it's, it just got so purple and it just doesn't work for me. It's really muddy and muted. Um, at least here, it's more contained, a little bit brighter. Here, it's turned more into an orange. So I kind of like that a little bit more. Um, this green, I have a feeling is some yellow green mixed with the teal don't like that green at all. So I'm going to definitely work in, change some of that a bit, but um, this teal is something I'm really in love with and I've always loved a good yellow green. Um, and I think this is a quinacridone gold. I might have used a little bit of um, maybe a bismuth yellow um, and some white but again, it's gotten kind of muddy here. So I've got a lot of work to do, at least to create um, a surface that I want to work with. Um, what I brought today are some different tissue papers. This is actually a wet strength tissue paper. And I've done some drawing, some printing, stenciling, um, painting on them. This one is just way too fun and I wish I had more of it. Um, I have them in turquoises, some greens. This is something I've been anxious to work with. This was some uh, wet strength tissue paper that I, um, I did some kind of crinkle method with some acrylic inks and it creates a lot of really interesting line. So I've been excited to work with that, but I've got some, you know, really bright yellow greens to this much more in between the turquoise, that teal color, and the green itself. So I kind of like the verticalness of, of this line here. So that'll be something that I might uh, put in there. I also did some of that in the gold. I have some brighter yellows, some lighter, softer yellows, um, some brighter oranges. Um, this is just some more wet strength tissue paper that instead of leaving openings, I painted and did swaths of color over the whole thing. So it's a little bit more opaque, whereas this kind of tissue paper has openings because of the stencil, so some of the things underneath will show through. In addition to that, I'm gonna work with, oh, here's a piece. Um, these are the wet strength tissue paper, but I used some molding paste on top of it and I pushed it through a stencil. And a lot of that tissue paper will just kind of melt away, but some of these thicker pieces of the molding paste, which are opaque, will stay. So I have some different spots and dots, um, some interesting rectangular shapes. Um, even this, this is very similar. 
only this is hand painted so it has a much different feel to it and you can see how you know that really will show through um, some other spots little tiny spots little tiny like racing dots and so I'm gonna play with all of that I'll be using some uh, matte medium for this and I really like golden products so I'm gonna use some matte medium to adhere some of these tissue papers pushing some things back adding some colors where maybe I'm not happy with the color um, and all of the inks and the paints that I've used here are also golden paints as well so let's experiment I started with some painted backgrounds and then the next step was collaging over top of that. So I used a lot of those transparent papers, some of the papers with the molding paste, and my goal was to unify all four pieces. So using similar papers, using similar colors, um, some repeated patterns and textures, and now everything at this point is unified, but it's also all in a mid-range value. So I don't have any strong darks, I don't have any strong lights. Everything is kind of mid-tone, saturated kinds of colors. So I'm gonna go back in now. I'm gonna work in some more marks. I will bring in some of that dark black line. Um, this, I'm gonna use some Stabilos. I have a few of the Stabilo Woody pencils that I'm going to use. I also have some Durant Inktense pencils, which I really like when I'm working with acrylic because this can be a wet media, but once it's dry, it is permanent. I'm also going to use some acrylic pens, and I have a really dark pen and I have a really light pen. So that'll help me just create some contrast. And once I'm done with some more mark making, I will come in probably with a little bit more collage and then starting to fill it in. Um, in addition, I'm going to use some stencils and I'll use these with the acrylic pens. So I will get some really interesting line work, some larger shapes so that I have a nice mix of large, medium and small. Uh, this happens to be a well-loved, much-used stencil. I just love the almost like bubbly kind of look to it. And I love these for really interesting lines, um, things that would be different if I just made them on my own. This has a mixture of some curvilinear line and some straight lines. And then of course, some nice big bold shapes that I can add in there as well. So I'm gonna switch over and do a little bit of mark making and add some line and some shape. <laughs> 